Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. So I'm making this video today because I want to talk about a Kundalini awakening. I've, I've talked about it before, but there's a lot that has been going, going on with me, more symptoms and more things that I'm experiencing. So I want to talk about a Kundalini awakening and uh, the symptoms of it and the signs that you're going through it. Now see, here's the thing. Um, I've watched a lot of videos when I was trying to figure out what uh, the symptoms were. And I would see a lot of videos that would say how to know that you've gone through a Kundalini awakening. And that's where it gets a little confusing because I think that a lot of us, when we go through a full Kundalini awakening, we're gonna know that we've gone through it. Uh, you know, we could look up the signs and know for sure, but it's going to be something, we're gonna change in a, in a major way. And this is just what I think. Uh, what I believe because what I, what I feel is happening to me. I think that we're going to change in a lot of ways, at least for some of us. Everybody's not the same. But I think you're going to be a different person and it's going to be just obvious to you that you've gone through a Kundalini awakening. But uh, when you're going through it is when you're going to have a lot of these symptoms and a lot of these different things that you're experiencing and, and what's happening. And that kind of is where you kind of think that uh, when you look at these videos and they say how to know you've gone through it, you think that you've gone through it. And you're, you're not. You're going through it. You're having symptoms and it's going to probably, you're going to get more symptoms as you realize what's going on and as, as time goes by. So. Uh, just a few months ago, I had no idea what a kundalini awakening was. I didn't really even know what a spiritual awakening was. I just knew I was going through something. I believed in the law of attraction, so I thought that what I was going through was actually just me manifesting my dreams. That's all I could think of what was happening. But I knew that it was something, and I just would just look for answers. I felt a lot of different things happening. Not only the crazy number, number synchronicities that I would see. I mean, like, that is something that I've experienced most of my life. But in the beginning, I just thought, oh, that must be my lucky number. That's why I see it all the time, 22 everywhere. 1022, I'd look and see my birthday, 1022, all the time. So um, I actually didn't know that that was actually a sign of a, an awakening. I, I remember looking through, uh, I saw an article that talked about the signs or the maybe the 10 signs or so of a spiritual awakening. And so when I looked at that, I was like, oh my God, that's, I'm going through that. The, the emotional roller coaster, the number synchronicities, the visits from animals. There was an owl. I went outside my house one morning. There was an owl sitting on the pole outside of my house. Something just told me to look up and I saw it out there. And then I looked it up and it was talking about change and wisdom. And then it just came to me, oh my goodness, there was an owl that came to our house like several nights before we moved from Miami uh, to Kissimmee. So I saw that owl and, and at that time it was just like, oh, it's an owl. It was just something cool and, and funny, but never thought about the fact that that was a sign of change or wisdom or it was one of the signs that, that you're going through an awakening. So I actually thought that what I was going through was actually just a spiritual awakening once I read that. And then I ran through across something that said Kundalini awakening. I didn't know what that was, but I just read it anyway. And it was, that's when it like, I just cried. It just became so clear to me because uh, there were, there are more symptoms and things that I didn't know were symptoms. Like at the age of 19, and I talked about this in, in, in some of my other videos, but at the age of 19, that was the first sign of a Kundalini, Kundalini awakening symptom for me. I was going to bed one night and as I started dozing off, it was a tingle that went up my spine and it happened all night long. It kept me up all night. It was very strange. I thought that someone put voodoo on me. I didn't know any, I had no idea of what else it could be. So for 22 years until now at the age of 41, did I now realize that that was a symptom of a Kundalini energy. Once I looked at that article and I read someone say the same thing about the tingle in the spine, it was like, oh my God. I can't believe for all these years I actually thought I was cursed and this was actually kundalini energy trying to rise up or go through the chakras which I knew nothing about so I'm just learning what that is. So now that I've realized what it is, I'm starting to experience even more uh, symptoms and a lot of these symptoms are symptoms that I've already experienced and I probably just didn't think that they were symptoms. Uh, the third eye pressure. This is something that I feel every single day now uh, since July. Ever since I read it 
then I realized that I had been feeling that for quite some time. Feels like something's just sitting here on my head. And before I would kind of like do this, you know, just a natural reaction, not knowing that that was actually third eye, uh, your third eye opening or being activated. I would feel like this little pulsing feeling there sometimes. And now every day I feel it. I feel it every single day. Uh, right now, I don't really feel it at the moment, but throughout the day, there'll be several times that I'll feel it. Um, aside from that, the ringing in the ears, I experienced that. And I always, I've been to experience that, like before I even knew that I was going through anything, I, that would happen. But I thought that that was normal. I thought everyone kind of heard this ringing sometimes and you walk into a room and then you hear, okay, maybe it was a machine. I would think that it was some kind of machine somewhere. But now I realize that it's like I hear energy sometimes. I wake up in the morning and then this, this, this like, it just feels like energy that I'm, that I'm hearing. Now the ringing is starting to get a little more specific. Before when I feel like it was random, which it probably wasn't, but I felt like it was random before, now it seems as though when I wonder about something or if I, if I come up with something and I figure out something or I just like, oh, I'm gonna do this. Or I'll be like, oh yeah, you know what? That's what this is, I'm gonna do that. When I think like that, I'll hear a ring sometimes. It almost seems to me like something's telling me, yeah, correct. Like something's talking to me or, or communicating with me when I'm thinking about stuff. So that seems like what's happening now with the ringing in my ear. But that's something that I've uh, experienced quite a bit over the years and didn't realize what it was. Um, I'm also feeling like uh, pressure in the chest sometimes, uh, like this real pressure. It's like it almost feels like heartburn, but it's not really heartburn. And I, you know, when I look up the symptoms, that's supposed to be your heart chakra opening or, you know, uh, something going on in the, in the heart space. I also feel in the back between the shoulder blades like a little pinch or like a little pain every now and then. I feel my arm jumping sometimes or my leg is like my muscle just twitching or uh, twitching in the shoulder. Just weird little muscle jumping, you know, things like that. I went through the eyebrow. My left eyebrow was twitching a whole lot for like a couple of days in a row. It was just like jumping, jumping, jumping. And that was one thing, also one symptom that I experienced. I'm trying to run across the ones that you probably won't recognize that they're symptoms, but there are some that are totally obvious that have been happening with me. Um, to try to get into those, um, at night is when I definitely experience the most wildest things that just confirms for me what I'm going through. And I, I'm pretty sure other people experience it too, but it's, it's to me, it's once you recognize what all of those other uh, symptoms are and, 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 and realize all of these other things that you're experiencing is when you start to, I feel, like get more, like, like it's, it prepares you to uh, not be freaked out when these certain things happen. So at night I feel, a lot of the time when I'm going to bed, I feel these uh, flutters of energy and it almost seems like it's when I start to doze off. Like as I start dozing, I'll feel like, it feels like chills or it's like, it feels nice and it's like energy, just like flutters going through the body and it chills kind of like, it goes down your leg. Sometimes I feel here in the, like right in the back of my head to the to left or sometimes to the right, it depends. It'll feel like these, it's like chills kind of like, like a little tingling feeling in the head. Um, as well as like, you know, sometimes in the body during the day, not much, but it's usually when I'm going to bed at night. So I go to sleep at night sometimes, and before I fall asleep, I, I kind of like know I'm gonna feel something. So I'll lay there, and as I start to doze off, I'll feel the energy surges through the body. Uh, also, um, there's been times where I'll feel like this anxiety or something, and so I'll close my eyes, and it's almost like I'm struggling to keep them closed, and I'll see like static, like shh, like white dots, or uh, sometimes there's colors, like there'll be a, uh, oh God, ants bite me. Sometimes there'll be like a, um, a, a purple circles that are moving around, and you know, um, uh, purplish yellowish like it'll be a big circle and then it, it goes turns small or it turns big it's just like these these colors that I'll see sometimes so these are the things that obviously let me know for sure that I'm going through a kundalini awakening and these are the symptoms uh, that you feel when you're going through it um, 
aside from that, uh, you know, there's been like, uh, there, there was one morning that my hubby was leaving. He was going to work. And um, what he does when he wakes up and he leaves, he'll come over to me and kind of like massage me and stuff like that. And good night, have a, have a good day, kiss and, and leave and whatever. And so I'm always like in and out of sleep and not really uh, sleeping until he's, he's gone. So I'm laying there and one morning he left and I'm, I turn over and I'm laying on my stomach and I'm kind of like in and out of sleep. And then I felt this, I felt and heard this buzzing and it sounded exactly like zzz, 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 zzz. And it felt almost like the bed was moving and uh, it's like zzz, it starts like seems to get stronger and for me, I've been like, uh, since I know this is happening, I try my best. At first, it was very scary, and I would be kind of like afraid to, like, I don't know what's happening. But I've gotten to the point now where I'm starting to just relax with it and allow it to happen. So at that time that that happened, I'm, I said to myself, I'm like, okay, because I'm going to allow it to take over. And then it just went away. So then I would kind of like get a little frustrated, like, why is it not happening? Why is the full... A, a, a kundalini awakening that why is it not taking over why is it not just doing its thing and 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 it, you know it made me kind of wonder like what am I doing wrong am I not knowing how to let go like what's wrong and so just yesterday morning something kind of uh, amazing happened um, I'm laying in the bed and uh, this is after he leaves I'm laying on my back and I kind of close my eyes and I'm laying there and I actually for a moment thought about the video that I made on Friday last week. So I made a video on Friday last week and there was a yellow butterfly that flew across the video. And I thought that was pretty cool and I had been thinking about it that day. So that day I looked it up that evening and, and tried to see if there's a, what's the meaning of yellow butterflies. And I ran across things that talked about joy and harmony and I was definitely having a great day. I was feeling really good that day. And it talked about rebirth. And so I just thought that was nice. So I'm laying there yesterday morning and it kind of crossed my mind as I'm in and out of sleep and I'm just laying there. And it's just like I'm at this very relaxed state. So as soon as I stopped thinking about the butterfly, I then saw a butterfly. And I don't mean I saw it in my room. I closed my eyes and I saw a little butterfly. It wasn't the same as the one in the video because it was a lot smaller, like a baby one. And it was just flapping around you know and it wasn't like you know how you could imagine or vision something that happened it wasn't that same vision where I made the video where there's green trees and everything around it was black behind the butterfly and it's like the little yellow butterfly was glowing it was glowing and it was like flapping and moving around and I'm laying there almost like in this kind of blissful state and I'm like am I am I seeing this is like do you see I'm seeing a butterfly like like wow you know I just feel you know like I'm, I'm watching something and then it went away and then I heard what sounded like a yell or, or a laugh like ah, you know something like that and then right after that I started feeling the buzzing and the, the vibrating of the kundalini energy and it just uh, it, it's like I'm feeling it and as the more I relax into it I'm feeling it more and then it just stopped and then I, you know, I didn't get disappointed this time. It's almost like something came over me. It was like something came over me and to help me understand that I'm not ready yet. Like, it's not time for me to go through that full awakening yet. Something kind of led me to feel that I have to talk about this or I have to share it. And then I start to realize that maybe once I go through this full, aw full awakening, I'm not going to be the same. I'm going to be so different that I may not be able to express this and share what's happening to me in, in a more relatable way. Right, right now, I'm sharing it with this, this excitement of, you know, what's going on. But if I go through a full awakening, I think I'll probably move beyond excitement and just more like I know what's going on. So maybe it's meant for me to share this and talk about this and explain what I'm experiencing in a more, uh, in a way where people can see what I'm going through and maybe it's good for me to document this because of the change that may go through or the change that may happen for me uh, after going through a full awakening and then I started thinking about the vision of the butterfly and the, the yell or the laugh I heard and and I just wondered what exactly was that and I started thinking that okay so just to, to give you a little information about something else that I feel is going on so I 
get a lot of number synchronicities and I look them up and sometimes a tarot card and in the meaning of it and I've been getting a lot of messages linked towards psychic abilities so I've been seeing this a lot in, in the numbers that I find where there's lots of seven with 77 and seven linked to um, psychic abilities or oh, this is a number of psychic abilities or this card means psychic abilities or this is for people with psychic and I see that so much that I wasn't paying attention to it and then I later like was like I'm not I'm not psychic like I'm not psychic I mean is, is that what the universe is trying to tell me that I have psychic abilities now I know that we all have them. We all have them and some is more uh, tapped into it than others with their abilities. And so I'm thinking, well, maybe once I go through a full awakening, maybe my psychic abilities will be heightened. I'm not really sure. But why I'm always seeing psychic abilities makes me wonder. And then it came to me that at age about maybe 14, 15, I was kind of fascinated with psychics. And I, uh, I called the psychic hotline on my phone and my dad slapped me in the head because I ran up the phone bill. But uh, it kind of like made me think like, hmm, maybe that was my subconscious telling me that this is a gift that you, know, that you may have that you don't know you have. And that's probably why I was fascinated with, with psychics at that age. And now it's like almost something trying to remind me to, to look into that or pay attention to, those, to that gift that I may have. And so I started thinking about the vision that I saw. And clearly now I know that I saw that butterfly with my third eye. That's clearly what that was because it wasn't my imagination. My eyes were closed and everything was dark except for this glowing little yellow blood. Of, and it was like, like I saw it. It was, and I wasn't sleeping. So it was like, wow. And then the, the sound, it's almost so kind of like, it's so, uh, the, the sound is, is light. So it's not as, as light, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't shoot out, but you see it and you feel it. It's almost like, when you're up moving around that day, you almost kind of forget how it felt, but you still have it there. And I was thinking about that butterfly and that sound. And then it reminded me of the, I had an, an energy uh, healing session, uh, a, a chakra balancing massage with this lady. Her name was uh, Stormy Lake. And she had said a couple of things to me afterward that I've been thinking about. Um, so she mentioned to me in her words that she felt you know, like she, she's got chills thinking about, you know, the session. She's like, I feel like you're very valuable to God. That is just something I got from, from your, uh, you know, when, when I was over you trying to, uh, to, to, you know, uh, check for if you have blockages here and there. And then she asked me also, she, she said, do you see, she's like, I feel like you're very open around the eyes and ears. She said, do you see faces or hear voices or something? And I'm like, no, I don't. But now it makes me wonder if uh, th that may be connected to what is going to happen once I go through a full awakening. So I'm thinking that the little butterfly and the sound I heard, my thoughts are, what I'm doing is trying to find the answers within myself. So I'm thinking that maybe that vision of the butterfly and the sound that I heard, maybe that's a sample of what it will be like once I tap into um, my psychic abilities. Maybe that vision is what it's going to be like when I see something. Maybe that sound is what it's going to be like when I hear uh, uh, hear a voice or or you know or what have you. So I'm thinking that that's what could what it could be. But then again, yesterday the kids were out of school. I took my oldest to a, a job interview, uh, and. While I, when I took her there, I went, took my younger ones with me here. We came to the nature trail and I took them and we were here. And of course, there's, you know, we'll see random butterflies flying around. We definitely saw little yellow ones. We saw lots of them. And then it kind of came to me that, you know, I do remember seeing little, you know, lots of butterflies. And I'm like, well, maybe what I had was a vision of what was going to happen lady, maybe, later. Maybe that was a vision of a butterfly flying. Maybe that laugh or yell that I thought I heard was one of my daughter's voices. So it's like, mm, it could be. So I'm trying to figure out and, and like I said, find the answers within myself because that's what I feel that we, I feel like we have all of the answers. So these are just ideas and things that, um, that are just coming to me that I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. Um, so it's really interesting. This whole experience is, 
it's just a blessing and I, I, I'm very grateful for it. Even though I've had these moments of ups and downs and feeling uh, really depressed at moments, it's definitely worth it for all of these, uh, these, these things that I'm, I'm going through, all of these uh, strange and, and, and wonderful experiences that I'm having. It's really worth it and I'm just really blessed. And if there's any of you out there that are feeling this and going through this, you know, we really have to be grateful. There's a lot of people in this life that are not going to experience these type of things, you know. They're just going to be stuck in the matrix and they're not going to really um, to go through and be able to, to experience this kind of stuff. So, I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I'm just really grateful um, that I am, I'm going through this. I just think it's a wonderful thing to, to experience. Um, other than that, um, that's really all I wanted to share in this video, what I wanted to talk about as far as the, uh, the symptoms that we uh, sometimes may not know are symptoms. And then I feel like once you recognize what those smaller symptoms are, I feel like as time goes by, you start getting more and it starts coming along. But I feel like I'm in a position now where I have to share what I'm going through because I'm, I know for sure that when we go through this full awakening, we are going to be different. We are totally going to change. And so this is an opportunity to kind of document, chart down what I'm going through. I got myself a journal and I've been writing everything I've been experiencing in there as well because it's going to be great to be able to go back to this once we connect to our higher self and, and become our, our greatest version. That's going to be pretty awesome. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I thank you for watching and if you're interested in uh, joining me and, and going through this whole journey with me, uh, sharing your, uh, your um, uh, signs and symptoms and your journey with me as well, I'm looking forward to it. I know this is going to be a, a great uh, experience. and. Um, like I said, if you want to continue to watch my videos, continue to see me go through this and, uh, and join me, uh, please like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff, like I always say. And um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye, everybody.